Welcome back. In the previous part, we got like this flame attachment to our anchor gear, which allowed us to finally proceed onwards in the woods so we can finally go see this witch or whatever. I can't even remember anymore. I think I think it was a witch, wasn't it? That we had to go see that, that Alwyn recommended. But I also, like I said, in between the parts, went away and got some food ready for what's ahead because you don't know. You don't know. Seems to be what, like a proper scene, this, doesn't it? With the moon and everything. And the pyre flies down there as well. Which is her. That, that sort of answers that question for me, then. Who builds a house on, on like, tree crystal? So this is the witch's hut, huh? Looks pretty much how you'd think a witch's house would look. And we're in luck. The lights are on. Guess that means someone's home. Or left them on in case of burglars, you know. So I'd assume. I heard she'd been away for many years, so I'm honestly surprised she's here. That probably means the thorny thicket Rihanna we ran into it was her doing. Sounded like I said Rihanna. It was really weird. Could be. Oh yeah. Tater Tot came here earlier, didn't she? Bet you she's sitting around sipping a tiny cup of tea. Lovely. Taking delicate little bites of a muffin. Yes. Yes, that does sound delectable. Actually, no. I don't feel any signs of Rue's presence here at all. Where did she go? I can sense my magic here and there, but that's to be expected. Anyway, uh, let's call on her and see what she has to say. So, how, how do we call on her and see what she has to say? Do you mean the witch or do you mean Rue? Why is there something coming off that? I'm just wondering if there's anything over here. There seems to be something coming off of that rock and it was like, maybe there's something there. Nope. Just, just an effect. Just an effect. Excuse me. Would the witch Ralera Still not sure. Happen to be in at the moment? Well, well, so you've come at last. Come in, come in, make yourself at home. As you wish. Come on, Ragnar. R right. We're gonna die. She's got a cauldron and everything. No barrels, so... This, this isn't an Atlia. It's been quite some time, Rylara. <laughs> my, my, you're certainly a sight for the old eyes, Miss Alwyn. Going with it. So you still remember this old witch now, do you? Of course. Though it has been close to a hundred years now, hasn't it? I was just a little girl back then, so I only remember bits and pieces. You have truly aged. Ho ho ho! I don't know what you're talking about. These bones still have plenty of life in them. So this young man is your blood knight, is he? Almost Monty Python in my female voice. Yeah. Old female voice, that is. Huh? What is it? Do I got something stuck on in my teeth? No, no, I just thought to myself that the princess had a good eye for humans, that's all. What's your name, lad? Ragnar Valentine, at your service. Treasure hunter, pilot, and at least for the time being, but die. No, the piloting thing's kind of on hold right now. What with my plane taking a nosedive into the dirt and all? I see. We have quite a bit we need to discuss, Madam Witch. Has my familiar passed through here by any chance? Yes, Rue did indeed stop by. And she certainly had a great deal to tell me. Quite the talk of that little one. She actually left not too long ago to search for you. I take it she hasn't found you then? It appears not. Well then. I figure if anyone would know something about whoever took my castle from me, you would. Whoever they are, I suspect that they're a true blood, just like me. 
Hmm, it seems you've already managed to place a large piece of that puzzle. Puzzle, 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 puzzle. Puzzle, right there. I am getting old, you know. I, I can't, I, the words don't come out as easy anymore. There's still much I'd like to you to fill me in about. But what do you say we take a... Oh, oh it's herbal. Mm. But what do you say we take a break and have ourselves a soaring cup of herbal tea? Me still tea. Now then, about the one who invaded your castle. I have to confess... Even I haven't figured out who it is, who, who, who was behind it. I am old, you know. But I know this. There aren't many in the world with enough power to pull off over and take over. I'm old, you know. I'm 65. Pull off or take over like that. I'm well aware of that. What I don't know is who would be so brazen as to steal my castle and my magic and why? There is one who comes to mind. But he's incredibly powerful. Far too strong for, for you to stand against. Huh? I don't want to see you hurt. Your father would have been beside himself if something were to happen to you, princess. I share his concern for your well-being. That's why I would ask you now to cease your pursuit of this dangerous foe. You came here seeking my advice? And this is it. Don't be reckless. Just wait for all of this to blow over. Is this some kind of joke? To leave my magic and the castle I inherited from my father in the hands of some ignoble girl who has been shamed to the Moonbria clan? I did not come here to hear you spew defeatist garbage. Goodness me, you certainly are a difficult one, princess. And here I thought you'd been raised to respect your elders. Hey, Granny. Uh, did you really mean it? What you said just now. I beg your pardon? Well, the way I see it, there's a big difference between courage and recklessness. Like, let's say I'm cruising along in my plane and I see a storm ahead. Normally I take a detour. Might even turn back and wait it over. Or out. Yes, that would be the judicious thing to do. Right, but even so. There are times when you've just got to grit your teeth and fly into the storm. Huh? What? Like, speak up, dearie. I, I'm old, you know. Think about it. What if I was rushing someone... Rushing someone with my... With what, 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 what? What if I was rushing someone with life-threatening injuries to the hospital? Every minute counts. Or what about if I was taking a gown to a grandfather's deathbed for one last goodbye? It's a, look at Alwyn's face right now. I wouldn't be doing all I could for them if I didn't dive right into the storm, risks be damned. Uh... I decided to weather the storm with Alwyn, so here we are. If you really don't know anything, that's fine. Can't hold that against you. But if you're keeping something from us, out of some misplaced sense of concern, then we're wasting our time here. Ragnar. Triple dot. My, my. I certainly didn't see this coming. So you're really intent on pressing forward, no matter what? Then I suppose any further discussion is pointless. Let's continue this without these rags of mine on. Naked? What? You! What? Yeah, what the? <coughs> That's... Grant me the power. That was your voice? Oh. Makes more sense now. It's that girl from before. Oh, what sorcery is this? Do you, you really think your drugs will work against me? Of course I do. Not even your noble truebloods are immune to the sweet slumber of powdered pandemonium grass. Sleep well. Curses! Indeed. Damn it! It's always the tea. Always gets me. Oh. I try not to fall for it, but... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I'm assuming this is a flashback. Sniffle, sniffle. I, I want to go too. Well, you can't. Not today. You'll just end up getting sleepy and want to go home. The other day, I, I thought I was going to have to carry you all the way. I won't get sleepy. Promise. I, I can stay awake if I'm with you. Even if you do, if I let you come, I'll just get in trouble with Dad again, like last time. And you know Mom's gonna worry. She always does. So just be a good girl and stay home today. We can play some other time. I just wanna go- wanna be with you, Ragnar. Oh my god, it's Ragnar. Who, who would have guessed that with the ponytail and, you know. Hey, Ragnar. What's keeping you? We need to get going. Ah, oh, jeez, just give me a minute. How about this? You let me go, and I'll bring you back a real cool present. A present? Yeah, whatever you want. We're heading into town, so I can get you something from any shop you want. Maybe a cute little barrette? A bag of your favorite candy? I, I mean, so long as it doesn't cost too much anyway. Okay, I'll wait here. Huh? I don't need a present. I know you already spent most of your allowance for this month. So, you don't have to buy me anything. Yeah? But, but then... Just come home as soon as you can. That's all I want today. Ready, Ragnar? Okay. Deal's a deal. I'll be back here as soon as I can today. I promise. Yay, yeah, you're the best. Why did we have that flashback? Ragna. Ragna, are you alright? We've got voice acting. Ah. <laughs> Owen. Well, this is a a bad predicament we've got ourselves into. Are you alright? It sounded like you were having a nightmare. Oh, I guess you could say that. I can't believe after this long I still dream about back then. I just noticed thinking about dreams, he's got a dream catcher on his belt for some reason. What the hell? What's going on? Well, it's pretty much what you'd guess from looking. We were given some sort of drug and brought here unconscious. Now we're in a less than enviable position. Wait, you mean, damn it, Alwyn, who the hell was that old bag then? She was your dad's advisor or something, wasn't she? I thought we could trust her. Oh, come on. She was clearly just an imposter. She was, and we can. But our enemy used some sort of enchantment or illusion to impersonate her. Gonna go with illusion. And I'm sorry to say it worked all too well. We were duped by their charade, and now look at us. I mean, they did have an incredible voice, didn't they? <laughs> Awake now, are you? Oh. Oh. Yeah. There you are. Hmm. <laughs> oh, you played your part to a T, Puppet Girl. Who is Puppet Girl, anyway? And you, over-trusting suckers, fell for my brilliant plan. I, the great Montblanc, have outwitted you. So the question is, knowing this now, what happened to Rue? Yeah. <laughs> All right, steady on. You spiked your own audio there. My familiar. What have you done with Rue? Same, same wavelength there. I'm sure your story of her going out to seek me was nothing more than a tall tale. The fairy is being kept elsewhere. That's your voice? Along with the real witch. <sighs> I figured as much. That's your voice? It looks like you predicted everything we'd try to do well in advance. <laughs> we knew from the start that witch was on your daddy's payroll. It was pretty obvious she'd be a thorn in our side if we just let her act on her own. So we just threw a bag over her and hauled her off somewhere safe. And then all we had to do was wait for you schmucks to show up. <clears throat> oh, something wrong, human? Where's your bluster? Where's that little tough guy act from before? Hey, 
What's your name? Well, it's Hooded Girl. Huh? Oh, I've told you plenty of times! I'm the Great Mont Blanc! Try to remember it this time. I wasn't asking you, Kitty Litter. I meant her, the gal in the hood. Eh? <laughs> Me? Yeah. You were the one riding that green dragon, weren't you? I want to know the name of the gal who shot down my plane. That was me, you dunce! I mean, it, it wasn't, was it? It was the mighty Mont Blanc who sent your crappy little machine down in flames! Can it! Shit-talking runt like you ain't even worth my time. And it sure wasn't you who posed enough of a threat to press me into using my sure kill maneuver. <sighs> how, how dare! I mean, I'm always a little on edge when I'm in the pilot seat, you know? A lot of responsibility riding on me. And seeing your face, I, I don't know why, but it made me feel calm. That's a bit weird. I'm not sure why you wish to know, but I refuse. Is it just going to be his sister? Is that, is that what's going to happen? I see no reason to tell you. You have some reason not to? If you won't tell me your name, then at least come over here, would you? I want to get a good look at your face. Come on, just let me see. Ain't gonna hurt anything. A quick look is fine. <sighs> Ragna? You brat! You think you can brush off the Great Mont Blanc so casually? Yes. Well, this time, it's gonna cost you. And the penalty is a meow -serless beating! Hmm. Those traces of my magic I was sensing, could they have been buried in the soil? How do you bury magic in soil? Curses. You gave my magic to some dangerous creature again, didn't you? Oh, I see. <laughs> right you are! Ooh, someone give the girl a prize! Get a good look, peons! This feral flower has its roots buried deep in the netherworld! The peons and netherworld, it's, it's like... Mugen Souls and Disgaea are coming together in this one enemy. What the hell is that? A plant. We call them abyssal flowers. No need for water and sunshine. Flesh and blood is what they crave. Oh, so, little shop of horrors. You little imp. And to think, my magic is inside that thing. Mont Blanc, why are you doing this? This wasn't part of the plan. How are you floating? I mean, Mont Blanc makes sense because of the wings, but you're floating. <laughs> oh, let's just say their punishment is at my discretion. Just keep quiet and do what you're told, puppet girl. Oh, yay. It looks like you found a tasty little snack. I'm loving the voice acting here. Damn you! You're gonna drag this out for your sick enjoyment, aren't you? <sighs> if I just had my staff, I'd have us out of these bindings in a second. <laughs> you two sure think you're tough, right? Well, let's see how much you can take. Goodness gracious, what's going on in my garden? Oh, that's her voice? Like her actual voice? Now what is it? Master Regna! Owen! Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Subaru? What are you doing here? You showed up in the nick of time. <laughs> Meet it just in time. My princess! Oh no. after I went and got my grandfather's permission, and I found Rue all tied up. Here, you two could probably use these right about now. You got it! Many thanks. No! I had them right where I wanted them before you came to ruin my moment of triumph! <sighs> Enough of your babbling, house cat. Princess Alwyn, don't let this chance go to waste. I wasn't far off, was I? 
Cut that overgrown weed down to size, and you should be able to reclaim your stolen magic. That's my plan. Subaru, Tater Tot, we got this. Roger. Be careful! Oh, here we go then. I need to watch Little Shop of Horrors again. I haven't watched it in years. With uh, pleasure. Oh Not god. Done yet. Not sure huh. what to do on this yet. Oh yeah. Its health is dropping fast, but am I hitting the... What am I hitting? That's the question. I think I'm hitting the vines. That's what I'm doing right now. So I think I've got the idea of... Dodge roll, everything like that. Yeah, oh, couldn't really do anything against that. I could have jumped, yeah. obviously. Coming through. I won't inspect that. Alright, so let's get the chocolate. It's a big heal. Alright, so there we go. I'm waiting for it now. Alright, so now what? It's just regenerating more, and that's all it's doing, or? Flame on! Flame on! I'm not sure. We'll go for the things on the end, but. Burn! Burn! Get out of there, get out of there. Oh, that didn't go well. Flame on! Oh, I, was I was trying to watch both at the same time. It's very difficult. I'll get you done. That's got more now. Great. Dragon hammer. Did that at the right perfect time. Let's got rid of quite a few then. So I do that now. Dragon hammer. Alright, let's need to heal up again. I'm getting the idea of this now. Dragon hammer. Lost so much health during that. Oh god. Ow. Help. Help. I'm gonna die. Dragon hammer. Yeah, it's like I need to time it nicely. Ah, oh, that, that's not nicely. I need to get away from it when it's doing that. It's getting health off of me. That's not good. Yeah, it's like there. It's like... That's a problem. Just wondering, seeing if like, it seems to have health on it or something oh, there. Right, so... No, it's like, I, I can't get away from it in time during that. His health is going back to full. It's just not on. Dragon hammer. It's like, no, let go of me. Hmm. So how do I avoid... So I've got to be very, very, like, on, on time with it. Let's go with... Look here. Leave it to me. That was the wrong button. Well, good job it didn't get me. Flame on. Right. Not what? Like I was just spamming roll. There's got to be something I can do there. I'll handle this. Yeah. So it's back at full health. Oh yeah. Flame on! Flame on! What's the best way to handle this? Like what what can I do to get away from that? I was rolling as soon as it was moving. Maybe try and be close to it? Nope, that didn't work either. Hmm. There's something I can do here. Can do. Diamond dust. 
diamond dust. Alright, come on. No. It's just not working. Just the, the roll is not working in time with what I want it to do. Like, how? Maybe I'm meant to roll towards it? Is there anything you think of? Like, no. Hmm. Not sure at all. Well, that, that screwed it up, isn't it? See, if it did more of that, it'd be fine. Maybe it's just stay at a distance. And then it can't do that. Because yeah, now we've got it randomly. Yeah, maybe I just had to stay near the edge. And if I was closer to it, it tried to eat me. Whirlwind magic. <sighs> Indeed. <laughs> Consider that weed whacked. Somehow. To, I'm not sure what was going on towards the end. It's like, I, I couldn't dodge out of the way. <gasps> My princess! I knew you could do it. You looked so cool out there. I was inspired. You too, Master. I couldn't take my eyes off your sweet moves. <laughs> well, to be honest, that thing was tougher than it looked. These monsters are getting nastier every time. It's Lucini. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out who Subaru is. It's Lucini. Same voice. <laughs> it was thanks to all of you that we ended up turning the tables on our tormentors. And speaking of enemies, what are you planning to do now? I was so close! Kinda, yeah. I mean, that, that one was a bit tricky. I guess it's time for Plan G. And the G stands for get the heck out of here! You need to work on your names. So long, suckers! Hey! She totally just gave us the slip! Hold it, you miscreant! What a mess. Indeed. Grant me the power. Hey, you! I've caused you enough trouble for one day. I suppose this is where I take my leave, too. No, no, wait! I'm not done with- You seem to know us well enough, miss. I think it's only proper you introduce yourself before you go. Or do you lack all semblance of etiquette like that mongrel cat? Point taken. I suppose I ought to at least be cordial in my dealings with true blood royalty. My name is Ex Machina, a shadow in the guise of a human. Ex Machina, alright. Kinda works, I like it. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh... She's gone! She called herself Ex Machina. Interesting. It is too, uh, Alwyn. From the machine. There's a loaded name if I ever heard one. Indeed. Seems weird, that voice saying that. <laughs> What's the matter? Why were you so insistent on learning who she is? Are you frustrated that she shot down your aeroplane? Wouldn't you be? Something like that, yeah. Ex Machina, huh? Seems like someone who's got a lot going on under that hood. That's for sure. Deary me, I don't know how we managed to get out of that one. Huh? What? Oh, I suppose I should give myself the proper introduction that intruder denied me earlier. My name is Ra Lyra. Thank you, Ra Lyra. Witch of the Woods, resident fossil, and long ago advisor to Duke Geekard. That's it? Geekard? Okay. Ah, 
No. My, my. To think you'd mistake some custom... Co costumed? Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm 65, you know. N near do well for me. It seems you still have to learn, Princess Arwen. Oh, that you old fossil. How dare you talk to my princess like that? No, it's true. I could certainly stand to sharpen my skills. That said, it has been almost a hundred years since I last saw you. Maybe it's just my imagination, but your clothes seem awfully different from how I remember you dressing. Much more colourful. Oh, 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 so you noticed, did you? Yes, indeedy. I have been all over the Grand Valen getting hip with the latest fashions and trends. Hmm? This look is really in this year. I'd figured I'd give it a whirl. Oh, 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 what do you think? Pretty groovy, isn't it? What the? You look like you're wearing handmade fro rugs. <laughs> she sure has a lot of spunk for her age. I have to admit the girl did a pretty convincing impression of me. Can't blame you two for being fooled. Still, it looks like she wasn't skilled enough to copy my far out fashion. Threads this style in the real deal. Sick no imitations. Yeah, she probably didn't copy it on purpose because she has taste. I need someone wearing those clothes. I'd be suspicious of, of them immediately. Anyway, we should get to the topic at hand, no? I actually happened to overhear your conversation with that imposter. Clairvoyant's magic sure does come in handy. Oh. Well, that saves us some time. If you've heard everything we asked her, then maybe you have the answers we're after. One, you one, 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 I'm 85. When you 65? I'm 85, you know. You want to know the identity of the mastermind who stole your castle and your magic, you mean? Well, you're in luck. Because I do, in fact, know who we're dealing with. Really? Yes. But I think it only fair to tell you. Much like the woman who impersonated me, I had not planned to tell you of their identity. After all, simply knowing who it is you're up against doesn't suddenly make you a match for them. What? Hey, come on, lady. That was until the end. Ragnar, was it? What you said back then made me pause and really mull over what's been happening. What I came to realize was this wasn't just one person's fight. And that's what led me to reconsider. Oh, cool. So you'll tell us? I will. Though I doubt you'll like what you hear. The man you are after is named Zaha. Zaha du Mumbria. Oh, Mumbria. To be precise. What? Who the heck it Wait, did you just say Moombia as in- Yes, you moron. That's Alwyn's family name. My princess, who is this Zaha? Is he someone you know? It's not possible. There's no way he's still alive. And yet, he is very much alive, somehow. I myself can scarcely believe it, but there can be no doubt. Ugh. <sighs> Hey, Alwyn, uh, who is this Zagar Zaga guy? That's his name, right? Some relative of yours? He's my uncle. Or was, anyway. My father killed him a hundred years ago. Huh? Oh, so what happened? Sir Zaha was the youngest brother of the late Duke... Geekard, that was it, right? I'm 85, you know. Pretty sure she was 65. But I don't know. After fleeing Ilvard, he wreaked havoc across all of Grand Valen, covering the world in a veil of fear. He even went as far as to assemble an army of fiends attending to wage war. Sounds like a real winning personality. That was way uncool of him. Indeed. And because of my uncle's malevolence, my father struck him down with his own hands. But even though my uncle died, so did my father. This all happened a hundred years ago. I was still a girl. My princess. Back then, my divinations led me to believe that both of them had perished in the battle. And yet, for reasons unknown, Zaha not only survived, he has returned to Ilvard. 
I've been scrying, trying to discover those reasons and his attentions, but I haven't made much progress. Hey, Alwyn. If your uncle's still alive after all, you think we can beat him? What would you say our chances are? Pretty slim, I'm afraid. I may be a troubler, but it's not like I have a wealth of experience. Uncle Zahar, on the other hand, fought in the Great Sorcery War alongside my father. He's a troubler among troublers, in spite of his treachery. Oh. So what are you saying we should just fold? Cut our losses? Absolutely not. Castle Moombia has been passed down through our family for generations, and from my father to me. I don't care who the enemy is, they could be a demon lord for all I care. This isn't a battle I'm going to back down from. My princess. Alwyn. Well then, doesn't sound like our mission's really changed, does it? We got your wind magic back, and now when we know what's going on. Let's get ready to roll out. Ragnar, are you sure? This might be going beyond the scope of our contract. You heard what I said, didn't you? Sometimes you just gotta dive right into the storm, risks be damned. And this is one of those times, isn't it? It is. Exactly. I ain't the kind of guy to let my partner fly into the storm alone. If you're going, I'm gonna be right there beside you. There's no reason to hold anything back now. I'm playing for keeps. As you wish. And thank you. I'm in your debt. Um. Well, this is Master Ragnar, you're so cool. My, my, you certainly picked an interesting young man to make a contract with, didn't you? Hmm? I'm going to see what I can divine about what's going on in the castle. With any luck, I'll be able to figure out what sort of schemes a heart is cooking up. Okay, I'll leave the prognostications to you. Rue, I'd like you to work with Ry Ry Ly Lyra for the time being. I think she'll find you or help invaluable. Alright, just promise me you'll be careful out there, my princess. Um, Master, what do you want me to do? Now that I have my grandfather's permission, I'd like to go along with you, if that's okay. Hey! You think you're going merrily skipping off with them while I have to sit and wait here? Wrong. What? No, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Sorry, kiddo. I think it'd be best if you stayed behind, too. I mean, what if the enemy comes knocking while Arwen and I are gone? They need someone who's good in a fight. That's why I want you here, to make sure Rue and Granny are safe. Oh, okay. I'm gonna protect the heck out of this hut. Awesome, that's the spirit. <laughs> you, you managed to get free of my magic's back, Quake, Freezing, and now Whirlwind. All that's left is my Inferno magic, and then we'll truly be back in business. Huh, what are we waiting for then? Let's go get it. That crappy sweat house of a tower ain't gonna explore itself. It's gonna say collapsing on itself, and I don't know why. Yep. Oh, great contribution there, just yep. Alright then, so. Oh, didn't mean to actually leave. We're gonna end this part here, and in the next part, we'll be heading back off to the tower. So, we'll see you then. Goodbye for now. Yep, I won't call these barrels. Still no barrels. Barrel.